get it out of here. If I could see it, you're not doing the gig. <laughs> Holy shit, it scared me. And so I ran around the bus and I woke up the driver. And I'm like, oh my God, just please move now. Just move, just drive. So the, the driver got up. What was, what was that one thing that people that work with you every day have never got to hear the story or if you never told the, the deep, dark Mayhew vault story or, or something like that. Give us that juicy apple. Well, I don't mind watching somebody get their ass chewed when they've done something wrong. So, well, actually let's cut the shit. You don't mind okay. chewing the ass. Well, no, I mean, if, if, that, <laughs> if that's necessary, but I, I like to see someone of my superiors too get, oh. get giving it up, giving it to somebody that, that's earned it. Most people that get the corn these days, the corn is when you get in trouble. Yep. So uh, they've earned it, you know, and you got a lot of people got to work pretty hard to get the corn these days. And, and you, out of all of the people I know on the road, are the one person I would never want to get the corn chewed for by. I, oh, man. I, I've watched you. In I'll action. tell you one great story. Here's one great one. <laughs> I, I This is my first day meeting Jake Berry. Jake Berry, uh, I was with Dawkin and we were in Europe. Well, it was so excited to go. We had 30 shows with, with, with ACDC in Europe. And this is when Brian uh, was blow up your video tour in 1984. Um, and so we show up at the venue. I want to say we were in someplace like Helsinki or some one of the one ice hockey hall there in town. And, and, uh, and uh, it was about, I want to say about, 6 45 7 a.m somewhere right around then and we we got there the night before and so we had a few beers on the bus and we're waiting you know at the venue and we're we're just hanging out partying on the bus because we didn't want to get a hotel we'd spend a bunch of money and yep stupid remember those days so we're hanging out and, and uh so it's like we've got a big day tomorrow let's you know let's i think we we're out probably by one or so in the morning and so i hear this little you know i hear this on the door and I'm, I'm i was back then i was great early morning riser love to get up and uh not so much anymore um so i hear a little knock on the door and i run over and i open the door and i'm like and uh and there's jake and and uh i didn't know it was him and he said hi how you doing and i go i'm good he goes what's your name and i go my name's tom mayhew and i, I work with the docking group he goes that's great tom um he goes uh, would you mind telling me why the fuck your bus is in the middle of my load in? Get it out of here now. Get it out of here. If I could see it, you're not doing the gig. Holy shit. It scared me. And so I ran around the bus and I woke up the driver and I'm like, Oh my God, just please move now. Just move, just drive. So the, the driver got up and fucking ran and started it. And, and we, we got out of the way and, I never had a problem with Jake after that, but don't ever put it. There's a, there's a tip for somebody too. If you're going to be a bus driver, don't ever bring your bus anywhere close to a Jake Berry load in or you <laughs> are going to get your ass reamed. So uh, speaking of ass reaming, what's the, the biggest ass reaming you've ever given somebody and what was it for it, legally that you can speak about that they're still alive and not missing? Uh, I think the biggest reaming that I can.